going on guys <sighs> do you guys want to guess where we are again the infamous parking deck um, so this video is to show you guys my new daily and as you could probably see by the title that's what it is but now we're just showing in the video it's probably in the thumbnail too so why bother even making this a surprise reveal i'm kind of making it a surprise reveal anyway da -da -da -da. my new 19 well new to me 1996 toyota celica st let's check it out so it's no seventh gen celica it's the slowest Celica there was in 96, but it's still pretty good. There is some imperfections in the paint, but it's just meant to be a new reliable daily. I put the wheels from my old red silicon here. I need to take that plastic dip off and crap. Um, the paint is pretty good. It's not bad. And yeah pretty good my interior is currently gutted because I was cleaning all the crap the old owner had back there he had oil built up in the trunk and stuff and I just had to like degrease the hell out of it let's see if I can show you guys and yeah I had to degrease the hell out of it and stuff back seats were out for a while but I got the bottom cushions in um yeah it's pretty good uh, I have mostly everything at home. Continuing on the outside, I continued my old car decals and put them on here. So I got the Domo one back here. And I just love this car's design, man. It's really reminiscent of the Mark IV Supra. From various angles. And I just love the body style on these. It's not as modern or as sharp and angular as the 7th Gen Celica, but it just looks really timeless and nice and smooth and really 90s. I just love the look of 90s Japanese cars, especially with these wheels. It looks really good, as you guys can see there. The trunk does seem to be debadged for some reason. I do have a Celica badge I might just put on the right side, but... Eh, it's all right and Domo is with me in this one also because why not JDM man uh, so continuing on the inside I've, I've done a few things to this one the keys a little sticky because I got a new key recently and the tumblers the tumblers on this one, you know, the tumblers on the key lock right there have been through so many years and stuff, but this is the inside. Uh, some of you guys might recognize this little subtle curvature right here, really reminiscent of Daddy Supra. Um, and yeah, this it's a pretty interesting design. Uh, the center console, I wrapped in carbon fiber wrap. It's came out pretty good just a subtle touch on there it's not very like blatantly obvious that it stands out from the rest of the car uh, I put the um, OEM shift boot from my 7th gen Celica and my original shift knob on here also because nostalgia and uh, I resprayed the center console black uh, I redid this leather on here but it doesn't turn hold up I redid the center console here in vinyl leather. The door panel on that side isn't too bad, just a little bit of a tear in the leather there. But this side, I kind of tried an idea to cover some ugly wrinkling that's going on like here. That didn't work out, so what nice. I mean, it looks all right, but I'll eventually get a new door panel because it just bugs me. And I have plans for this car too. Maybe convert it to a Celica GT4. Just maybe. Steering wheel is all right. Uh, I need to redo some of this because it's a little bit rough on here. I'll wrap it like my 7th gen Celica wheel. And uh, 
I wrap these switches. But uh, so far it's been pretty reliable. The AC works great. Uh, this one does have a crap ton of miles on it. Let's see if the camera will pick it up. That's how much is on the odometer. But the motor was swapped out about 30,000 miles ago for a used motor. So it about has um, 170,000 miles is what the owner said because the uh, engine had like 140. Um, that was a brief overview of the car and um, I'm under the process of boosting my Celica. It's currently sitting in the driveway, still put together. Uh, we'll be doing some videos on this one. Um, also redid the headliner, by the way, in case you can kind of barely tell. Looks nice, brand new. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Just showing you guys what the new daily is. We're sticking and staying Toyota. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Stay tuned for more Celica updates. Now 6th and 7th gen uh, videos. So, yeah. Also, on a side note, has anyone called your 7th gen a Slowica? This is the real Slowica. This thing has 110 horsepower, man. But, because it's thick... Uh, you can use those 100 horses or like 90 that makes it to the wheels to its full potential. So yeah guys, take care. Uh, like if you like the video, even though it's just a brief showing the daily. Uh, I'll make another video some other time. Uh, dislike it if you didn't like it. And if you dislike it, uh, leave me a comment what you didn't like. You hate my voice, I'm so sorry. Uh, you hate Celica's uh, comment down below. You'll probably get hated on by some of the people here because they like Celica's. Uh, and yeah, later guys.